All right, good morning, Special K. Good morning, Rock T. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Tuesday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Peter Thomas is speaking out, y'all. We remember Peter Thomas, y'all, from Real Housewives of Atlanta, the wonderful husband of Miss Cynthia Bailey. Well, Peter's speaking out. He spoke recently, y'all, on the episode of Carlos King's podcast. And he said, y'all, he admitted, honey, that he took 15% of Cynthia's paycheck after she paid the household bills. He said he got 15% of it. You know, a lot of people said, well, you know, well, there was nothing wrong with that because, I mean, you know, they said honey, he was on the show and stuff and what have you, and they said that, you know, he had the right to do that. But, you know, they said, it, you know, people was like, but why would you come out and say something like that, you know, about your wife and, and, and you taking 15% of it? Well, like I don't a, think he took it. I think she let him have it. Uh, Maybe well, she gave it to was him. Was it like a management agreement or something? Maybe That's what I, it sounds like. It's usually like a 10, yeah, 15%. If it's a percentage. No, uh, I don't know what it was, but honey, he spoke out and said it. And a lot of women was like, mm. wait a damn minute, honey. I mean, would y'all, I mean, Maria, you're married and Latoya, you're married. Would y'all let y'all husband take 15% of the check? Oh, I'm so. Oh, I'm sorry. You're divorced. Oh. I'm sorry, Latoya. Look, correct in the error. <laughs> but, but would y'all do that? Though? I mean, I mean, if you love your husband, I mean, that would be nice. I mean, you know, it's like a stipend because he is on the show, and they would say that they don't pay the spouses, the husbands and stuff on these shows. So, you know, I mean, that would be well, nice. Could have been a tax situation, possibly. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't look at it like that. I just feel. Yeah. Go ahead. Huh? Yeah. 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 But I mean, I think, it, and it, but he shouldn't say he took it though. But honey, but nevertheless, honey, he ain't getting it now, honey, because you know she ain't got nothing to give him, honey. And why he is he show. bringing it up now? Thank you. That's what I want to know. So you know, but anyway, he he talking about it, and he said, honey, that hey, that's what he did. So congratulations, Peter. Some people say they hope he took that money and paid the taxes on those restaurants he got there. Always Ooh. in and out. Oh, sorry. All right, moving on. <laughs> Another celebrity news, y'all. Ray Janae Carter, baby. She is calling out YouTube, baby, for suppressing her videos. Now, they said over the weekend, Ms. Ray Janae Carter announced that, honey, she was leaving Atlanta and moving to Los Angeles. Now, they're saying, Ray Janae, honey, she's a budding YouTuber, and she's calling out the platform, y'all, for putting restrictions on the video, honey, of her big announcement. You know, because, you know, she made the announcement that, she, you know, she's leaving um, um, Atlanta and stuff and what have you. But I'm like, does these people... I, what, what you call them, streamers or YouTubers or whatever they are? Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, can they do that? Because a lot of people you hear complain about saying how you know you put stuff out there and these people are changing it around or do well, different. Well, you have to too. understand how to negotiate, how to work your way through the with the algorithm and all that. And sometimes the content you post gets you gets you flagged or whatever. Like you really gotta know what you're doing to maximize. And she still has your, a lot uh, of power situation. as an influencer and as an actress. She's a, actually a pretty good actress. I've seen her she in is. several of her projects. So, you know, I think she's going to do really well out in L.A. Okay. And I'm just, I'm just, I think she's doing such a great job of just really owning her own identity and not riding on her parents' coattail. She's been doing really good, so. Yeah. And then yeah, my final story. Toy, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. For sure. Yes, in my final story, this is a very sad story. And I, I normally wouldn't do this, report this, but anyway, but it's very interesting. Now, now they're saying yeah, that um, the owner of a conservative radio station in Tennessee, y'all, is catching heat, honey, for comparing White House Press Secretary Ms. Karen Jean-Pierre to buckwheat. Isn't that something that they're saying that Dale Kennedy is the co-host of um, a radio station, um, um, and they compare Miss Jean Perrier to Bugweed during a recent discussion after about gender affirming care for children. Now President Biden has come, you know, both he and Oh my God, this is what they said. President Biden has come, both he and Buckwheat Jean Pierre have come out and in favor of a national law allowing minors without the consent of their parents to have gender changing procedures. Now they're saying that this is very, very much. How could these people even do so? And y'all know who I'm talking about? Because, I mean, racists are going to racist. And, you know, we just. He's talking you know about what? that beautiful press secretary. Yeah, she's the White House press secretary. Yeah. But she should just ignore it because he's, he, you know, he couldn't pay for her lunch probably. So. You it know, is what it is. I mean, that's ridiculous. It's amazing how people can still say anything they want to say and stuff. And I mean, and nothing it's is mean, said about it. You, you yes, know where we definitely. live. You know what this is. Yeah, well, I'm a, we, we she ain't keep... tripping on him. She don't, she don't, he ain't nowhere on her radar. He, yeah. He's a local talk show host. Meanwhile, yeah. he looked like a foot. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, the Kahlua of the day, honey, is one of my favorite Kahlua. Kalo- my Kahlua of the day, y'all, is plastic. On the high end, you say plastic, and on the low end, you say beautiful pink. That's your Kahlua for today. Y'all give it up for Gary with the two. <laughs> we got your wake-up calls coming up next, man. So y'all hit us up, 866-9-RICKY, 866-9-R-I-C-K-E-Y. It's time to wake some of your people up. It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.